Hello? This, hello, this is uh, James Spiva, Sister McCoy. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well. Sister McCoy, do you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm here. Are you ready for me to begin? I'm ready for you to do the prayer, uh, Liz. And the, uh, yes, sir. For our request. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Yes, ma'am. Yes. You may yes, begin. Sir. All right. Thank you, uh, Deacon Spiva. Good afternoon, Deacon Spiva. Sisters and friends, our special prayer request for this Thursday, April the 6th, 2023, reads as follows. Reverend Willie Tobias Jr., Sister Betty Mitchell, Sister Ella Buford, Brother Glenn McNeil, Sister Betty Mitchell, Sister Tony Faye Mitchell. We're also asking special prayer for the Flag and Tillman families in the passing of their loved one, Sister Lois Flag. Deacon James Todd and family in the passing of his aunt, Sister Burnell Smith. The funeral service will be next Saturday, April the 15th at Mount Hood in Clinton, Mississippi. The body will be in repose at West Haven Funeral Home. Also, we're asking special prayer for Reverend Erwin Todd, the brother of Deacon James Todd. He is in Merritt Health Hospital. Sister Barbara Smith and the passing of her mother. Arrangements are incomplete. Sister Stacy Stacy McMorris, Dr. Dolores Wright. She is in Parkway Health and Rehabilitation Center, 230 River Oak Drive, Canton, Mississippi. We're asking special prayer for Sister Victoria Lynn. She is in Cedar Rapids Lower University Hospital in the Burn Unit. Sister Lynn is the mother of Sister Julia Bass's granddaughter. Again, Sister Lynn is the mother of Sister Julia Bass's granddaughter, Venus Irene. Sister Rosalina Deloach, she's the daughter-in-law of Sister Rosa Todd. She has been diagnosed with breast cancer and taking chemotherapy at this time. Sister Deloach resides in Phoenix, Arizona. Sister Georgia Bassett, Minister Rachel Mitchell, she is in hospice home care. Sister Maya Thompson, the daughter of Sister Nadine Barnes, Brother R.T. Clerk and family, Brother Larry Stevenson, brother of Sister Stevenson, she resides in West Covina, California. Sister Demetrius Powell, she's the daughter of Sister Christine Jackson. We're asking special prayer for Sister Ruthie Davis. Dr. Hamithia Thompson, Sister Travis, Sister Sonja Cooper, Sister Linda Scudaway, Sister Jeannie White, Sister Laverne Chen, Reverend Matthew Blackwell, Sister Carolyn Miller, Missionary Dr. Bobby Parker and her two daughters, Sister Brianna Parker and Sister Desiree Day as they battle cancer, Reverend Durr, Brother Calvin McKnight Sr., he is in the Natchez Merritt Hospital in Natchez, Mississippi. He is the nephew of Sister Carolyn Fleming. Sister Annie Wil Wilson, the sister of Deacon Vernell Fleming. Mother Emma Owens, the aunt of Deacon Vernell Fleming. She resides in Detroit, Michigan. We're asking special prayer for Sister Joan Thomas, Sister Bessie McCoy, Brother Bernard Thompson. He resides uh, in Fort Worth, Texas. We're also asking your continued prayers for those uh, individuals in Rolling Fork, Silver City, and other surrounding counties that were affected uh, by the storm, and also the EF2 tornado that struck in Missouri. There were five fatalities. Hebrews 4th chapter, verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. This concludes our special prayer request for this Thursday, April the 6th, 2023. Thank you, Deacon McCoy. Our scripture to ponder today is from the 21st Nama Psalms, verse 1 and verse 2. 
in verse 1, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Verse 2, Deliver me in the righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ears unto me and save me. Today we have three wonderful individuals to do our prayer. They are Deacon Renee Sanders, Deacon Sylvester Ford, and Minister Henry Pullum. At this time, we will have prayer from Brother Bernal Sanders. Good afternoon, you know, Zion. Uh, good afternoon, Deacon Spravel, and thank you. Uh, let us pray. Dear Father God, thank you for encouraging us each and every day. You are faithful to lift us up when we are stuck in doubt and discouraged by our mistakes and imperfections. When our sinful nature trips us up, God, thank you for reminding us you are still in control. Thankfully, we are not. We cling to Christ today, God, holding firmly to our belief in him. We know he understands our weaknesses, for he faced all the same temptations and tests we do daily, yet he did not sin. Father, thank you for sending Jesus to save us. Thank you for giving us a friend who emphasizes with us, who knows how we feel, and meets us with overwhelming compassion. It is to Christ Jesus we come boldly to your throne, God. We need your grace. It is through the Holy Spirit alive and active in us. We are able to be bold enough to come to you, realizing our need for grace, forgiveness, power, and strength to walk in your, in your will. We come to you today, God, in grace and mercy, because we need you. We need grace, mercy, forgiveness, compassion, and strength. On our own, we are incapable of walking in your will. As the author of Hebrews once wrote, we come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There, we will receive your mercy and find grace to help us when we need it most. Dear Father God, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you for knowing when we need your mercy the most. Thank you for watching over us so particularly and compassionately. You love us for who we are right now. And we are so grateful for your grace and kindness. Lead us to your will for this day. And our, excuse me, <clears throat> in our lives, Father, help us to understand the depth of your mercy and grace as we prepare to reflect on Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Bring your light into focus in our lives and your truth to the top of your minds, of our minds, excuse me. We are struggling, and when we are experiencing victories in this life, Father, we look forward to joining you for eternity when we will no longer be bound by sin or experience sadness and pain. But until then, we rely on you fully. We cling to Jesus Christ, our great priest, your son, holding firmly to what we believe. Jesus, you are our friend. We are thankful you meet us in our weakness and, and relate to the testings we endure daily. We come boldly to your Father's throne through you. Thank you for your comp for your sacrifice, your fulfillness, your faithfulness, your compassion, your love, your life, your light, your truth, and faithful friendship. These things we pray in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Brother Sadness. At this time, our second prayer will come from Deacon Sylvester Ford, you may begin, Brother Ford. 
Thank you, Brother Father. Good evening to everyone. May we pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we come this day, dear Lord, thanking you. Thanking you for all that you do, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we know that everything, everything falls in the hands of our Savior, Jesus Christ. But dear Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you for all that you do. We know that there are some people going through some hard times right now. Whether it be illness, whether it be from the storm, or whether it be from death in the family. Dear Lord, we know everything, everything will fall in the hands of our Savior. So we say thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for another day. You woke us up this morning. Clothed in our right mind. You didn't have to, dear Lord, but you did. Now all we have to do is get on our knees and say thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Dear Lord, we ask a special blessing for all those that are tuned in today for this prayer list. We ask a special blessing for our pastor, Reverend Tobias, and his family, for our church family, our immediate family our city, our community, our state, our country. And Lord, we know not what tomorrow holds, but we know that everything will fall in the hands of our Savior. And Lord, we ask you to continue to bless those that are in school, that are learning, that make sure that they are able to extend their life and future. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for all that you do. We ask you to continue to bless us. There's only, only one, our Savior. And dear Lord, we know that in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, not the man. So we say thank you for that, dear Lord. We know that there's a controversies about everything. But we know if we go and learn from the study of God's word that we can put everything, everything in the right hand. Thank you, dear Lord, for all that you do. We ask a special blessing for all our family members and all our church members, all our participants, all our staff members, those that lead this youth department, those that lead the uh, uh, the, the food ministry, you know, we have a lot of staff members that have blessed New Mount Zion. And we say thank you, dear Lord. Thank you for letting them continue to do what is best in the eyes of our Savior. And we always say thank you for all that you do. We ask you to continue to be with us. Be with us in a way that only you can, dear Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. So, Dear Lord, we say, continue to guide our steps in the path you would have us to go. Because we know not, we know not what the future or tomorrow holds. But we know that there's only one Savior, our Savior, our Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, dear Lord. We know that there is only you that can help us and bless us. So we ask you to continue to bless us. Be with us this day, dear Lord. Be with us in the days to come. These and other blessings we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Ford, for that glorious prayer at this time. Minister Henry Pullum, you may begin with your prayer. Thank you, Deacon Spiles. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. 
Let us pray. Father, right now, Lord, right now, Lord, we ask you to come to us right now, Lord, and touch us. We ask you to lay your hands upon us, God, for where we are hurting or where we are sick. And uh, even if we're not, Lord, we just want to feel your touch right now. We know that you are right now, God, and we ask you right now that you could do something explosive to the ones who are listening on the line right now. We ask you, God, because we know you have all powers in your hands, and we thank you, God. We thank you for where you brought us from and to where you're taking us to. Uh, but right now, God, because you are right now, God, we ask you, Lord, right now to help heal families that are torn apart, to to touch people that are going through. and those people that have been destructed by storm, we we asking you to heal and help and and to and put your hands around them, God, because you are right now, God. Thank you for being a right now, God. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for guiding us on our way. Thank you for putting us in our right mind. Thank you for giving us a strength, but not because we did something so well, but because your grace and your mercy. We thank you, God, for just loving us. We thank you for caring for us, protecting us, and guiding us. We thank you today, Lord, just for being able to see another day. And even though the sun did not shine, even because the clouds are in the sky, you still are good. Uh, we thank you for being good to us. We thank you for caring us and guiding us and showing us your will. We thank you that your will is being done, God. We thank you for today. We ask you, God, to forgive us of our sins and to touch us, to fix us, to show us your will and your way. We ask you to continue to bless us, Lord, with your word. We thank you for our pastor and the first lady. We ask, we thank you for our members. We thank you for our deacons. We thank you for our, everyone that comes together and, and makes this congregation. And then we got, God, we, ask, we want to bless those who are not even a part of us yet, that is, but a, a soon coming. We want to thank you, God, for the things that you're not that you have not even blessed us with, but that you're getting ready to bless us with. We got to stop just, just thanking you, God, for what we have right now, because there's more to come. And we thank you, because not only that, you are right now, God. Thank you for being a right now, God. Thank you for caring for us right now. Thank you for waking us up right now. Thank you for loving us right now. Thank you for dying for us right now. Thank you for being there right now. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done all that you're doing, and all that you're about to do right now. We ask you, God, that you continue to allow your will to be done. Let it be your will and not our will. We ask you, let it be more of you, God, and less of us today. We need more of you and less of us today, God. We, we thank you for what you have done to get us to this point. Now, God, we ask that you would touch everyone that's on this line. That's everyone that's involved with someone that's next to someone that's on this line that you may bless. Show your spirit. Allow your Holy Spirit, the anointing of the power of the Holy Ghost to fall down through this phone right now. And somebody say, hallelujah. We thank you because you are right now, God. Thank you, Lord. Continue to bless us. Guide us. We know that you always love us. We know that you'll never forsake us nor leave us. And we thank you for being a right now, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Pullum. Thank you, all three of the individuals who gave us wonderful prayers uh, this afternoon. The announcements. New Mount Zion Springs of Hour will begin April the 10th through the 12th, 2023. Service start at 6 p.m. each night. Members are asked to support the revival with thirty dollars. Our guest event is for as that follows: Monday night, Reverend Vincent V. Russell, pastor of Greater Fairview Baptist Church, that's here in Jackson. Tuesday night, Reverend Anton Barlow, pastor of South Liberty Baptist Church, Captain, Mississippi. Wednesday night, Reverend Jonathan Phillips, pastor of United Method, United Missionary Baptist Church, Pearl, Mississippi, and Mount Zion MB Church, Canton, Mississippi.
please join us on Sunday at 9 for Sunday school and at 11 for a worship service and also our Easter program. At this time, I will do the closing prayer. Father God, we thank you for being such a righteous, righteous God. We thank you for your many bounties for blessings. Father God, we thank you for our pastor, bless his wife and his family. We pray for our church and our church members and all churches that are open in your holy name. We lift up all the names that were called on today's sick list and those that were requesting prayer. Father God, we pray for those whose name was not called. You know them. Father God, we know that you know all about us. Father God, we pray for all who have been affected by storms. God, just wrap your loving arms around all of them. We pray for our city, our state, and our national leaders. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This concludes today's prayer conference call. Have a blessed day. Thank you very much. Amen. Conference will automatically end in 60 seconds.